right to say that tonight is our last show of Beauty and the Beast? I know, I'm heartbroken too. It's six long months of work putting up with these bounties for three hours every Wednesday night. But some of you are alright, aren't you? One of you, maybe? Uh, no, it's, uh, it has been very lovely to have Phil audiences uh, sit and set our shows before we open the first door. Uh, so thank you so much for what you guys do online and on social media. It makes a world of difference. Every penny that we raise tonight funds what we do for the rest of the year. Also, a lot of it goes towards the hall or the equipment. Um, yeah, I mean, there's people here with visible disabilities, some with un, you know, invisible disabilities, some of us are just strange. Um, <laughs> so, it's all about you there. Um, but yeah, so everything that you do here tonight, whether it's a touch up or just coming along or just tweeting, it makes the world a difference. Before tonight's show, between our two shows today, uh, Claire, our director, and Lucy did some thank yous to people who work backstage who never get seen, the people at front of house who at one o'clock this morning, Carol was replenishing our tuck shop at Tesco's, um, the people hidden in the booth back there, um, thanking them for all their hard work. So this is our opportunity, because it's our last show, to thank Claire and Lucy, our director. So could we have Claire and Lucy on stage and a big round of applause for Claire and Lucy. myself because apparently I'm by a tat. Um, so Claire, Claire, no you didn't, Carol bought you some nice presents which uh, Emily's rescuing right now but I also bought you some other things so I don't want you to feel, you know. Oh yeah, so we've got you these cards, enjoy those, don't bother over them now because you've got stuff to deal with. So nice presents first, you've got um, some gift cards for Nando's. I'm not going with you because I hate Nando's. If I want a spicy garlic bread, I'll ask for it. Uh, you've also got these nice Yankee candles. Uh, they're quite nice, aren't they? Not bad. Yeah, there you are. Because you do a lot of hard work, and I, I know that, you know, in a September, trying to corral me to do stuff is hard work. Right, now on to the tat. So, I have a little hobby. There's a return section on Amazon's website and you can search for things that are less than a pound. And so I buy things throughout the year thinking, this is perfect, what if you're ever in an emergency? For instance, what if you needed to know about every compact disc released prior to 1997? <laughs> this book is 1.3 kilograms. It's 1,322 pages long of classical compact discs. Look after that. <laughs> then I thought, whatever happens if you want to entertain a child, who, for some reason, has miniaturised their grandfather. So here's a DVD of Grandpa in my pocket. <laughs> then I thought, oh goodness, what happens if you go back to 2017 and get lost in Colchester? So here's a street map of Colchester in 2017. <laughs> uh, then I remembered you both like playing friends, so there's Top Trumps, that's a sensible gift, boring. <laughs> And then I thought, oh no, what if you get lost in Stevenage in, I don't even know what year, it's in black and white. <laughs> I mean, look, it's hand drawn, there you are, enjoy that Lucy, you don't get lost in Stevenage. Uh, then I've got you some sensible presents, these are aromatherapy oils that you rub on your wrists when you get stressed or you need energy, like my mind just did. So enjoy those, they're boring. Uh, there's some Bailey's favourite Tassimo, that'll keep you going. Uh, I've got you some sensible books. Where are they? There we go. Uh, this is one of my favourite authors, Matt Haig. He's got a good first name. Uh, that's a very good book. You'll enjoy that. Then I saw some books that, you know... Have you ever thought about shooting your partner through a bathroom door? Well, don't. Here's Blade Runner. I just got to say that. I mean, too soon? <laughs> then I thought, Claire's quite an angry driver. She lives, she lives up in Woodley now, but so if you're ever on the M4, you think, goodness me, that Audi's going fast. So here's a book called How to Reverse Your Road Rage. That man's angry. Don't be that man. Stop it. Then I thought, Lucy, you're quite short. Here's a book called Memoirs of a Midget. Who <laughs> um, this um, An aircraft colouring book. It's just a book someone's put into grayscale. Enjoy it. Lucy, sometimes you talk nonsense, so here's a Johnny Phonics workbook. <laughs> Two vowels, one sound, the first vowel does the talking. Claire, have you ever wondered when was Easter in 2017? Yes! Excellent! Good! 
his 2017 calendar with some badly photoshopped pictures of a baby giraffe that isn't even the same orientation as the front cover. Enjoy it. Uh, this one is for you. Uh, Claire got engaged and is getting married this year. Um, and, uh, someone wanted to put a ring on it. Uh, but you got uh, engaged in Venice and you and your fiancé were in a Shakespeare play, so here's a The Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare. It's thoughtful. Yeah. There's some million chocolate. <laughs> Claire wanted some frilly socks, because she's free. There you go. Now, I have no idea what this is about. I think we Google translated it into something about a small horse, but his moustache is astonishing. <laughs> it's in German. Translate that yourself. Get on with it. Oh, and last but not least, have you ever wanted to hear stories about a man in a canoe going to the toilet? I'm going to put my finger over the middle word of this, but it's called Up Something Creek. It's the adventures of a man paddling and using the toilets. Hilarious. Uh, you've worked really hard. Please enjoy your tact. Uh, we all really appreciate your hard work coming down every Wednesday, but also the hours of acting you do. So, um, on behalf of our six and our audiences, the hundred odd people who work on the stage, backstage, in front of the stage. Thank you so much for coming. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Claire and Lisa. Oh, um, I have 
down camp production meetings and talk about what we wanted to look like. And then Vicky Blesser goes off, does some drawings, goes, is this alright? And it's more than I could have ever wished or imagined. So thank you very much for here every week. Thank you. Thank you.
someone that very much stepped into the breach this year and helped in her direct for the very first time. Big Laura Bree, she's on the back end. Um, she was very brave to the new rabble on, um, but she did a great job. She had some really fantastic ideas, and the show, I think, personally, would be our most fun to ever, and she's contributed massively to that. So, Lucy! <laughs>